next topic is closure properties of context free languages okay so closure properties first one context free languages are closed under union okay union of two context free languages a context free language okay so i am taking two context free languages l1 and l2 okay we are going to show l1 union l2 so this this is these two are context free languages i am going to show l1 union l2 is a context free language okay so how to prove this one so let we are taking two context free languages generated by the context free grammar g1 and g2 so l1 is a context free gram language generated by the context free grammar g1 so how we can represent a grammar a grammar is represented by using four tuples v t p s okay so this is g1 so i am representing by using v1 t1 p1 s1 okay then i am taking another context free language l2 which is generated by the grammar g2 so i am representing by using the tuple v2 t2 p2 s2 understood so l1 and l2 are the two context free languages generated by the context free grammar g1 and g2 respectively okay so we can assume that without the loss of general uh, generality the sets um, v1 u uh, intersection v2 is equal to null don't think about this thing now i am taking so i am taking this is a context free language this is a context free language so union means i am taking either l1 or l2 okay so for that i am taking a language l uh, of g3 which is generated by the grammar g3 so l3 which is generated by the grammar g3 what is l3 l1 or l2 that is l1 union l2 g3 so g3 is contains all the variables from both grammar that is v1 union v2 union one more symbol will be there here which is s3 that i will tell you why i we are adding s3 then all the terminals next t1 union t2 because this is a union okay union of l1 and l2 it is l1 union l2 which is l3 so l3 is generated by the grammar g3 what is p here production 1 and production 2 okay p3 and start symbol is s3 what is p3 here p3 is p3 is all the production from grammar 1 union all the production from grammar 2 along with a grammar sorry uh, a grammar s3 gives s1 or s2 okay we are taking the union of first two that is union of language 1 and language 2 context free language 1 and context free language 2 so i will tell you why we are adding this okay so see so obviously the grammar g3 is a context free grammar so l of g3 is also that is l3 is also a context free language okay so with proof i will tell you with example i will tell you so we are we are having two context free language l1 l1 which is represented by a power n b power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 this l2 example c power n d power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 so we are taking two examples for language 1 and language 2 so what is the grammar for l1 the grammar for l1 is so you already know a power n a star means how can we write a grammar for a star how can we write a start symbol gives the same thing what is a variable here uh, what is a terminal here then the same uh, start symbol s1 gives a s1 that is a star or epsilon okay so in this case how we can write a power n b power a power n b power n s1 gives a s1 b or epsilon okay for this i can write s2 gives cd right c same s2 d this grammar how to write a grammar that you already studied we already discussed in the previous videos you can check that i am not going to explain again that thing okay a power n b power n
so i am going to write l3 here what is l3 here l1 or l2 right you that is l1 union l2 so either i can take this language or that language so how to write so what is l1 here l1 is s1 gives a s1 b or epsilon s2 gives c s2 or d bar epsilon so i can take either s1 or s2 that is a union here either s1 or s2 so i need to write a symbol here so i am writing star symbol s3 okay so this is l1 union l2 so this is l1 this is l2 i can take either l1 or l2 so i can write it as l1 or l2 you be a production is like this lhs gives rhs okay so i uh, write a new non terminal here which gives either s1 i can take or s2 that is a union okay that's why we added a new start symbol for the language l3 okay that's why for grammar g3 generated which generate the language l3 we are writing the start symbol s3 here that is s3 is the start symbol for l3 l3 language for this grammar g3 grammar okay what is p3 here p3 contains all the productions from grammar language 1 and language 2 for the language 1 the grammar is this one that is this right for the language 2 context free language 2 the production is this one so we added this one so p1 is there p2 is there then extra one more production we are adding which indicates either this production or that production that is union okay so along with p1 and p2 that is production 1 production 1 is this okay from language 1 production 2 this production from language 2 and we are adding one more production which indicates either production 1 or production 2 so s3 gives s1 or s2 that's why p3 gives p1 union p2 union s3 gives s1 s2 okay so in this grammar we can see the non terminals s1 s2 and extra one non, new non terminal s3 that's why all the non terminal from first grammar second grammar along with the new start symbol which introduced here is s3 that's why v1 what is the v1 in first language which is s1 this is v2 from the second language so s1 will be there s2 will be there also s3 will be there okay that's why for grammar 3 we are writing v1 union v2 union s3 and all the terminals the terminals here are a b c d okay all the terminals terminals from first grammar and second grammar first grammar t1 is a b and t2 is c d p3 means Uh, production from first grammar and second grammar and extra one more production okay that's why we added this production s3 is the new start symbol for the union grammar okay so this is also a context free language okay in this way you can explain uh, closure proper second next property that is intersect uh, concatenation concatenation of two context free grammar is a context context free language is a context free language so this is second one that is we are taking two uh, context free languages l1 and l2 and we are going to show the concatenation of two context free languages also a context free language so for proof we are taking the context free languages l1 and l2 generated by the grammar g1 g2 same thing that we already discussed for union of two context free grammar okay so in g3 is Additionally, we are adding one new non-terminal, and P3 is one more production we are adding. Instead of S1 bar S2 here, it is concatenation. So dot only that changes there. And S3 is a new start symbol of the concatenated grammar. Okay, so we can say the con uh, concatenation of two context-free languages is a context-free language. So you can take the same example and you can explain that one. Okay. then another property is so first two properties are union and concatenation third property is clean closure that is a star okay so we are taking a context free language here and we are finding the star of that language clean closure of that context free language okay so the clean closure of a context free language is also a context free language okay so how we are writing a star what is the non terminal here that gives a star is you need to write a here what is the non terminal same non terminal you need to write then bar epsilon okay so the family of context free language is closed under union concatenation and clean closure so this is an important topic in case of competitive examinations like gate net etc so this is a example for clean closure so i am writing here 
this is a star okay so just take one example a star and you can just draw this one again after getting the clean after finding the clean closure then you will you can see that that is also a context free language and the main thing here is intersection and complementation these two are not closed under uh, th these two are not closed under that is uh, intersection and complementation are not closed for a context free language that is an important thing so closure properties of a context free languages are union concatenation and clean closure but they are not closed under complementation and intersection okay this is an important point that is context free languages are not closed under complementation and intersection so intersection case i am taking two context free languages l1 and l2 the intersection of two context free languages not context free language okay that we are going to prove so i am taking l1 l1 is equal to a power m b power n c power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 l2 is equal to a power n b power n c power m such that n greater than or equal to 0 then what will be l1 intersection l2 l1 intersection l2 will be a power m b power n c power n a power m b power n c power n intersection a power n b power n c power m a power n b power n c power m so which is common here a power n a power n b power n c power n okay this is not a context free language okay so this is a context sensitive language which can be recognized by linear bounded automata so uh, intersection of two context free language is not a context free language okay similarly complementation of a context free language is not a context free language okay so i am taking uh, l1 intersection l2 that we already discussed in the just before what is l1 intersection l2 how we can write l1 intersection l2 i can write it as rewrite it as l1 union l2 that is l1 bar union l2 bar the whole bar you can you know the de morgan's theorem okay so just i am rewriting l1 intersection so that is l1 intersection intersection sorry l1 bar that is l1 bar again i am splitting the whole bar to two bars bar bar union become intersection l2 bar bar what is bar bar it become l1 l1 intersection l2 so i can rewrite l1 intersection l2 yes l1 bar union l2 bar the whole bar okay so we know that so in order to proceed this one initially we are assuming complement of a context free language assume complement of a context free language is a context free language just we are just assuming this one complement of a context free language is a context free language then finally we will prove that is wrong okay so i just i am assuming so we are going to prove the complementation is not closed okay that is complement of a context free language is a not a context free language so in order to prove that initially we are just assuming it is a context free language context complement of a context free language is a context free language so for proving this one i am just taking the intersection i am rewriting it like this then what is complement complement of a context free language is a context free language so l1 bar i am re re replacing as cfl complement of a context free language is a context free language then i am keeping the same one okay union of what is union of two context free language union of two context free language is a context free language that we already know right and what is a con complement of a context free language complement of a context free language is a we assumed it is a context free language so what we got intersection of two context free language is a context free language but in uh, just two minutes before i told you intersection is not closed okay that is intersection of two context free language is not a context free language but as per our assumption we got intersection is a context free language okay so this is not wrong okay that is we already know l1 intersection l2 is not a context free language but here we got it is a context free language that means this assumption is wrong so we can say the complement of a 
context free language is not a context free language okay so we this is a contradiction we assume it is context free but we got it is not context free that is intersection is not context free but here we got intersection is context free so the assumption assumption is wrong so we can say complement of a context free language is not a context free language so by summary we can write what are the closure properties of context free grammar it is closed under union it is closed under concatenation it is closed under clean closure clean star closure but it is not closed under intersection and complementation so this is important thing okay in gate examination they may ask intersection of two context free languages a context free language or the complementation of a context free languages but this is not uh, that is intersection complementation are not closed under context free languages okay